The theme today is simple, repeatable tactics to help you play tennis more intelligently. Now I'm inside because the east wind is blowing and when the east wind is blowing on our courts, it's a bit like this. I've tried to make it look a bit tennessy. Uh, Jeremy has kindly uh, let me borrow his very first ever racket uh, for that purpose. And um, that's a fork playing tennis, by the way. Now, the only tactical video so far in the series was video 38. Do check that out again because it covers important stuff about why you should hit cross court more of the time, how to manage hitting down the line and how to manage your positioning so that you're able to use your strongest shot more often. Today, I'm going to add all the tactical knowledge you need that will enable you to construct, control and dominate rallies. Let's begin with patterns. There are two common patterns that you're going to see all the time and they are these ones. Now think about which pattern you prefer. Think about which pattern your opponent prefers or dislikes. There may be one pattern that your opponent is able to hurt you far more with than the other, in which case you want to try and avoid that pattern. To change a cross-court pattern, you need to hit a down-the-line shot. As Video 38 explains, these shots are more tricky, but if one pattern is particularly suiting you in a match than the other, then it's worth using the down-the-line shot to try and change from the unfavourable pattern to the favourable one. Your opponent will normally hit a cross-court ball in response to you hitting down the line, and if they do, then it's job done, you've changed to the pattern that you want. Now, when one player gains the upper hand in a rally, then that's where combinations come in. There are only two combinations to understand, although there's a wide array of shots that can be used within them. Let's take a look. Any type of shot can be used within the combos, from high loopy shots to drop shots and from angle shots to all types of net play. Now think about which combination you prefer, or perhaps which combination is going to expose your opponent's weaknesses the best. Although most players have one combination they prefer over the other and they will then use that the majority of the time and it then becomes a simple, repeatable tactic. Next comes your favourite shot. Identify a shot that you enjoy playing, you're good at playing and is effective when you use it. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Rohan likes the inside out forehand where he runs around his backhand and hits the forehand cross court. Sam likes a forehand down the line. See if you can spot them hitting those shots. Okay, once you've identified your favourite shot, or perhaps two or three shots that you're particularly effective at, then it's easy to see how they relate to the two cross-court patterns, and also how they can slot in to the 1-1 one -one combination and the 2 combination. You can then tailor your simple, repeatable tactics in a way that allows you to hit your favourite shots more often. Okay, let's say you're a right-handed player and your favourite shot is the inside-out forehand. Today you've got a match against another right-handed player who's weaker on the backhand side and isn't very agile. Your strategy is going to be to try and expose those two weaknesses. Your tactics to do it 
will be to use the backhand to backhand cross court pattern and to understand the forehand down the line will be an important shot to try and bring that pattern into play more often. When you're in control of points, you might consider the two combo and maybe using backhand angle shots, your favorite inside out forehand, and perhaps a few drop shots as well. That will really test your opponent's movement because they're gonna have to change direction a lot and they're gonna have to keep hitting those backhands that they don't like. If your tactics are working, then just keep repeating them. You might want to guard against being too predictable, but even if your opponent knows what you're going to do and still can't handle it, then there's really no reason to change. If your tactics aren't working, there's only going to be one of two reasons why not. Either you're not executing them accurately enough, or your opponent is handling them better than you anticipated. Either way, you're going to have to work out what the reason is and adjust accordingly. So, just by understanding the two cross-court patterns and the two different types of shot combinations, along with your own strengths and your opponent's weaknesses, you can go about developing your own simple, repeatable tactics and use them to win. Part two of Simple Repeatable Tactics won't be out until next year, so in the meantime, do go out and develop your tactical game for rallies using today's content, and let me know how you get on. I've got to go and return Jeremy's racket now, because he's got a match later on, and he loved his, his first racket so much that he still uses it today, all the time, for coaching and matches. Uh, the next video will be in a few weeks' time, so I'll see you then.